Your Majesty, Robert Sanjay, Prabhu Romani, Norurum Siamoni, King of the Kingdom of Cambodia, San Sanjay Vibor Sema Pak, Nay Sikho, President of the Senate. Sunday Akak Nuha Ponye Chakke Heng Samran, President of the National Assembly. Hang Sin, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the warm welcome and the gracious hospitality extended to me and the entire Philippine delegation. The ties between the Philippines and Cambodia run long and deep. King Rodung the first visited the Philippines in 1872. It is said that he was so impressed by our musicians, he arranged to bring the group back to Phnom Penh to form the Royal Brass and Reed Band. It is more contemporary, in more contemporary times, the Philippine was honored to host the late King Father Norodom Sihanouk on three occasions. He and His Majesty, the Queen Mother, experienced Philippine hospitality, culture, and cuisine then. Tonight, I feel we are honored and we are coming in for a circle, the Santos Royal Banquet showcases Cambodia's very best. Truly, I am humbled and honored, Your Majesty, this is a renewal and reaffirmation of a long-standing friendship that augurs well for our bilateral relations. My visit to Cambodia has impressed upon me that ours is a friendship based on mutual respect and support. It is a friendship with a commitment to a shared future. It is a friendship that can withstand the challenges of an evolving regional and international environment. Since the diplomatic practice was formally established in 1957, we have seen great improvements, regular exchanges of visits between leaders and officials have them to force closer links by lateral trade. On the other hand, it is the steadily growing businesses that we have. While an increasing number of Filipino companies are seizing business opportunities in Cambodia. People to people exchanges between our ordinary Filipinos and Com Cambodians alike have intensified through the years. There are human bridges that link our nations in greater understanding and confidence. We have also been drawn together during the most trying times. Over 500 Philippine peacekeepers joined the United Nations to see tensional 
authority in Cambodia, the UNTAC, in the 1990s, where they provided assistance in building capacities for law enforcement and securing polling places, they also did much more. <coughs> We have helped in building communities to involvement in rural electrification. English language, education, and even in sports, such as boxing and basketball. They were rewarded by our Cambodian brothers and sisters with kindness and care. As we face a future that is increasingly interlinked, we draw upon our common historic experiences to help chart a path towards greater peace, progress, and prosperity enjoyed by our people. The Philippines is fully committed to making full use of its existing bilateral agreements and platforms to move forward our cooperation in many areas, including agriculture, tourism, and labor migration. There is, much, there is much to be realized in this regard, but we have moved several steps forward today to the signing of four agreements, cooperation in combating transnational crimes, tourism, cooperation in program in the field of labor and on sports and education. The cover key areas of shared concern and interest the signal the beginning of our broader collaboration as close neighbors. We have a common stake in keeping ASEAN strong, relevant, and responsive. This is especially critical at this time when forces are reshaping the regional architecture in Asia. We must seek innovative ways to harness our strengths and synergies, to bring prosperity to our region, and to make ASEAN a cohesive and vibrant community. We count on Cambodia's active support on the Philippines as the Philippines takes the chairmanship of ASEAN next year. In 2017, we will celebrate two major milestones, the 50th anniversary of ASEAN and the 60th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations between the Philippines and Cambodia. This will be a time of remembrance and looking back, but more importantly, it will be an occasion to look forward to a common future marked by stronger partnership and collaboration. And this is my first visit to your beautiful kingdom I recall famous mere pronounced Kamai proverb which says a bunch of sticks cannot be broken, but a single stick breaks easily. Your Honor, Your Majesty, Your Excellency, we would like to give our thanks for the warm welcome and we will remember today, remember tonight, as a gift from you to the Filipino people. Thank you.